Once upon a time, there lived two beautiful sisters called Njoki and Jerry. The two sisters were around the same age and they lived with their parents, Mr. and Mrs. Juma. Although the two were sisters, they had different personalities. Jerry was very hardworking, kind, caring and was always willing to help her parents with house chores. Joki, on the other hand, was very lazy, rude, selfish and never wanted to help out with any house chores. She only wanted to sit down, relax and leave all the washing and cleaning for her sister. Their mother tried to warn Joki on her bad behavior but she never listened. She always told her mother that she would get married to a very rich man who would employ households to do all the cleaning. So every day, Jerry woke up early in the morning and did everything like fetching water, washing utensils and cleaning while Njoki was busy enjoying her beauty sleep. One day, as Njeri was heading to the river, she met a very handsome man called Mutua. Mutua stopped to greet her and showed interest in her. He asked her if she would allow him to be his friend and she agreed. From that day, Mutua would accompany Jerry every single day as she went to fetch water. And because of spending time together, their bond grew and Mutua saw how caring and kind-hearted Jerry was. And so Mutua decided to marry kind-hearted Jerry. Upon hearing that her sister was getting married, Joki wasn't happy about it. This is because she had always wanted to get married before her sister did. However, she wasn't bothered about it because according to her, Mutua dressed and carried himself like a poor man. And so Mutua and Jerry got married in a beautiful African ceremony and Jerry carried her belongings to go to her husband's house. Jerry was surprised when Mutua showed her their home. It was a very big mansion and it turned out that Mutua was a rich man who didn't like to talk about his wealth for he was a humble man. Mutua welcomed his wife into their home and they began their new life as husband and wife. One day, Jerry went to visit her parents and sister because she had missed them very much and she wanted to know how they were doing. Her parents and sister were very happy when they saw her because they had missed her too. Jerry gave her mother a basket full of farm produce and she asked her, Jerry, where did you get all of this food? This is too much. Please tell us. Jerry replied, let me tell you, so it turns out that my husband Mutua was not the poor man he seemed to be. He is rich and he has sent this to you guys as a present. They all looked at her surprised as they gave their appreciation to Jerry. That night, Jerry spent the night at her parents' house. Jerry and Joki spent the whole night catching up and sharing stories. So in the morning, Jerry left for her husband's house and bid her family goodbye. As she left, Joki looked at her with jealousy and bitterness. How had her sister gotten married to a rich man by mistake? And yet all the suitors who came for her hand in marriage were broke people. Joki was furious and bitter and wondered, What does she have that I don't have? In fact, I am prettier than her and she attracted a rich man. All I keep attracting is poor poor farmers and fishermen. Oh, she stole my luck. Joki thought to herself. After that day, every day Joki woke up, she would always think about ways she would destroy her sister. So one day, Jerry invited Joki to come and spend some few days with her. Joki was so happy and so she went. She was so surprised to see the big mansion that Jerry and her husband lived in. 
The house was very beautiful and Joki felt jealous of her sister who lived in such comfort. Njeri was pregnant at the time and so Njoki saw how her husband treated her. Mutua will come home bearing gifts for her pregnant wife and he will sing for the unborn baby. He treated Jerry very nicely and he did not want Jerry to do any work. All he wanted was to see her rest and rest. This disturbed Njoki very much. She was jealous. Jealous of her sister. How comes her sister lived the dream life that Njoki had always wanted and desired? Jerry had the husband and the life that Njoki had always wanted and she desired that life. Njoki had sleepless nights wondering what she would do to stop her sister from living that dream life and how she would steal her man. So one day, Njoki came up with the best idea to finally end her sister. She went to the witch doctor and was given a potion to place in her sister's food. Njoki returned to her sister's house, happy that she would finally end it all. All this while, Jerry did not suspect that her own sister had bad intentions towards her. Pregnant Jerry was always kind and nice towards her sister and she thought that Njoki did the same. During lunchtime, Njoki snaked into her sister's kitchen and put the poison in her food. She then went to Njeri and told her, Sweet sister, now that you are pregnant, please allow me to assist you in inspecting the farm. Let me go and see if the workers are doing a good job in the farm. Njeri gave her permission and she was very happy to see how her sister had changed and turned into a good caring person. And so Njoki left, her heart filled with happiness that finally she would live the dream life. After a while, Jerry felt very hungry and she got the food from the kitchen and started eating. Suddenly, she had a very bad stomach ache and she tried shouting for help but no one was around. She died together with the baby in her womb. So when Joki and the workers came from the farm, they were sad to realize that Njeri was gone. They cried bitterly, wondering what had happened to her. Mutua, Njeri's husband, was devastated. He cried bitterly for her wife and the unborn baby. He continuously said, I left my wife very happy and healthy in the morning. I wonder what happened. Gods of this land, why have you left me? What did I do to deserve such a calamity? Meanwhile, Njoki pretended to mourn with them but deep inside she was happy. In fact, she was very very happy that her sister had died and left Mutua all for her. Njoki stayed close to Mutua as she gave him a shoulder to lean on. At this time, she was thinking how to get Mutua to like her. So, the day of the burial finally came and everyone came to put Jerry's body to rest. However, there was one major problem. The coffin did not move. People tried to carry it, push it, pull it by ropes, but it did not move. Hours passed, but the coffin still did not move. People who were tired of waiting whispered among each other, the coffin is not moving. The spirit of the deceased is not at rest. The elders were summoned to give a solution to this problem and they said, According to the customs and tradition of this land, if the coffin does not move, it means the dead is not happy with us and her spirit is restless. If you have ever done anything bad to Njeri, Please come forward and ask for her forgiveness. Several people came forward and asked for her forgiveness. Some said they stole from her, others said they verbally abused her and many other reasons. But Njoki did not come forward to confess about her crimes. 
she just stayed there looking all innocent and sad after everyone had asked for forgiveness they tried to carry the coffin but it still did not move the elders shouted if you have done anything to the deceased please this is your last chance to confess everyone looked around but no one came forward and so the elders said spirit of our own gal jerry is not at rest jerry if you are listening to us please do what is necessary so that your spirit can rest in peace after some time jocky started acting like a mad woman and she was shouting yes i will confess don't kill me i will confess jerry's spirit was busy slapping and beating her and jocky finally said i will confess i put poison in my sister's food so that i would take her husband and live her life i killed her i am sorry i killed her the people looked surprised as they said abomination oh abomination you must die you evil soul you must die so what's the moral lesson this story teaches us that we should not plan evil against others instead we should be happy and congratulate them on their wins as we wait for our own turn this is because the universe is abundant Anyway guys that was it for today's story. I really hope that you enjoyed it and learned something out of it. I hope to see you in my next one. Kwaheri